Hey everyone, welcome to Earthling Cooks. Today we're gonna to make some air fryer potato chips. These turn out crunchy and so tasty. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Of course, you're gonna to need to peel your potato and then slice it up. I'm gonna get that done. Once you've got them sliced up, go ahead and get all your chips into some water. This is just room temperature water to begin with. We're gonna leave them in there for up to 15 minutes. I like, I like usually leave them in there for about 10 minutes and then we'll come back, show the next step. Now we'll go ahead and take our chips out and we're going to empty this bowl and then we're going to do this one more time with hot boiling water. So we'll just go ahead and get all these out. Dump this. And put them back in. And now I have boiling water in this little electric kettle. You can boil your water any way you want on the stove. You could even just put this bowl with the chips not in it into the microwave with water in it and, uh, you know, heat it up in the microwave. Just get yourself some boiling water. Now we'll let this sit for about five minutes. Now we need to go ahead and get them out and dry them off. This water will be hot and so will the chips, so be careful. But we're just going to take them out and spread them out on the paper towel. Or you can use just, you know, standard towels. Make sure you get them all separated. We'll go ahead and get them all out. Once they're all out, go ahead and just dry them off. Now luckily, we're not throwing these into oil. You gotta be really careful if you're cooking these in oil because wet things going in the oil makes the oil splash and you can you have a really big problem on your hands. But these going in the air fryer, you wanna get them as dry as you can, but it's not that big of a deal if they're not perfect. So that should do it. Now we'll get them all out and back into the bowl that's dried. And we're gonna season them and then we'll Show how to cook them. So to start, you need some oil. You don't want to be drowning them. It depends how many you're making, how much oil you use. I've got about a tablespoon here, but I don't think I'm even going to use all this. You can use avocado or olive oil. So we'll get the oil in there. And you just want to get them all coated. So move them around. That looks good. And if there's any stuck together, you know, try to just get the oil mixed in. And of course you want to add some salt. And you don't have to add this, but I like to add some Parmesan. Now usually I use black Parmesan for everything and shred it myself, but that'll become a gooey mess. I find that grated Parmesan sticks on well and cooks well when making chips. So I throw a little bit of that in. We'll go ahead and give them a toss and then we'll throw a little more in, trying to get all the sides covered. And there we go. Now I'll show you how to cook them in the fryer. Okay, so getting these into the fryer, start around the edges, and I like to actually put them up a little bit on the sides. It can fit more chips in here then. So you kind of go around the sides with them a little bit up, and then we'll just continue around and keep filling them in, not overlapping yet. You can do this in multiple batches. As you can see, I've kind of filled up, but I don't have a ton left. I'm going to just keep piling a little bit, but try to make sure that there's airflow. So kind of pile them over where you can, where you see some airflow available. And there we go. Go ahead and throw them in now at 325 to begin with. We're gonna do that for seven minutes. No flipping necessary, just let it run that seven minutes. Now they're about three-fourths cooked, a little more than half, and they are starting to be a little bit solid, but not quite yet. We wanna flip them a little bit and move them around. Be careful, I'm doing this with my hand. I would highly suggest some tongs. Don't do what I do, do what I say. <laughs> Let's just flip them around a little bit and then uh, we're going to go ahead and put them back in. This time we're going to go up to 375 and we're going to put them in starting at 5 minutes 
And you can always cook a little more if we need them more done. But we're going to start at five and give it a go. At two and a half minutes, we can give them a shake. It's starting to get some color. So now we can start shaking about every minute until they look done. Now as they're cooking, if you start seeing some that look done, you can start taking those out. And as you can see, some aren't getting done quite as quick as the others, just based on how they were sitting in the machine. But then you'll have some more room in there. So just pick out the few that are crispy and looking done, and then keep cooking until they all get to that nice crispy texture. Try to keep separating them if there are some stuck together. And here's our final product. You can throw on a little more salt. And if you want a little more Parmesan, let's go ahead and grab a couple out of here. You can hear that. Check this out. That is a crisp chip. These taste almost exactly like fried. A little healthier as well. Give them a try. Awesome chips at home in the air fryer. Have any questions, let me know. We'll see you all later.